Hello and welcome back to the final video for Topic 8 Programming and this time we're going to be looking at file handling. As you can see here, part of Topic 8 Programming, it's the final thing. So what is file handling? Well, it's probably not what you think. Um, in programming, data that will be required again can be stored in a file using file handling methods. Now we all know about file save and we save things to our hard disk. Um, if we've got things that we're working on, this information is taken into RAM but RAM is volatile, so if we switch the computer off while we've got information in RAM, then it's likely not to be saved and we've lost it. However, when data is saved to a file, it's stored permanently and can be accessed at a later date. So when we store, when we save our Python files, it's usually saved as a .py file or any other files we save on the computer, we generally save them with a, a file extension. But this file handling in terms of a higher level programming language is not necessarily to do with this. And now what we're going to be doing with file handling is, is working with text files. We can work with both text files and CSV files. The beauty of um, working with text files and CSV files, certainly in Python, is we can bring in large amounts of data and work on it within our program. But what we can also do is we can write and create these text files and store information in so they're ready to add lots and lots of information. And I'll try and explain that better with some examples. What I'm going to do with this video is focus primarily on Python. I'm going to cover a little bit of pseudocode, but I'm going to focus primarily on Python. And we're going to be writing, creating, reading um, different files from our computer. So we're going to create some files in Python, some text files, for example here, source file.txt, and we're going to be able to copy and paste and read information and write information to these particular text files. Okay, so an example. So suppose you want to create a file and write some information to it using Python. We can accomplish this by using the following steps. Okay, so step one. Okay, to open a file, to start a new file, we're going to use the open function in Python. The open function takes two arguments, the file name and the mode in which we want to open the file. It's R for read, um, W for write, and A for append. And there's many other letters as well, but we're just going to stick with these three. This line of code here, file equals open, brackets example.txt, the first argument, w for write, this will create a new file called example text in write mode. Okay, then once we've opened the file, we can write some information to it using the write function. Okay, so file.write, and I've put the classic program hello world. And again, this will write the string hello world to the file. Okay, now the final step, there is a final step and this is closing the file. Closing the file enables the file to be saved. So we put file.close in and the parentheses and this will close the file and ensure that any changes we made uh, will be saved. So we've created a text file, we've written some information into it, it's a string, and we've closed the file to save it. In addition to writing a file, Python also allows us to read from and append to a file using the read um, function and using the append functions respectively. Okay, but I'm going to run this in Python now for you to have a little look and see how it works. So in this example, I've created a file. I've called it make a text file. Um, in here, we're going to go file equals open example.txt. And this is going to have the write function. It's got W for write. And I'm going to file write um, so just a string, hello world. And then I'm going to close the file. Doing the close enables me, as you saw before, to save it. So. And I've got the destination folder here. Look, it's going to go into my Python applications folder in documents. There we go, Python applications. Yep. So if I now run this, run module, and make sure it's saved, nothing has happened in terms of you, you can't see anything. What you'll notice here is there's an example text file appeared. So I can click on that, and you can just about see hello world has been written to example.txt. Hello world. Okay, in this example, I've gone a little bit further. I'm using pseudocode. So this particular pseudocode is an example of writing a line of text to a file and reading the line of text back from the file. The pseudocode algorithm has comments to explain each stage of the task. Okay, well, where are the comments? Let me show you. Okay, this first one. We're going to declare text line as a string, and we're going to declare my file as a string and my file is going to be assigned the value mytext.txt. .text. The code begins by declaring two variables. The my file variable is set to the name of the file that will be written to and read from. 
okay we then move on next the code opens the file for writing using the open command here open my file um, and we're going to flag this with for write so we're going to open the file for writing it then prompts the user to enter a line of text using the output command and reads the user input using the input command so output this message input the text line write to file the text line the line of text is then written to the file using the write file command okay and then finally we're going to close my file after closing the file the code opens the same file again for reading using the open command and the for read flag okay so it opens my file for read it's going to then read a line of text from the file using the read file command and outputs it to the console using the output command and finally the code closes the file again using the close file command so that's how we'd copy a file from one file to another using pseudocode it's a little bit complicated so what I've done is I've redone this in Python so you can get an idea of how this exactly works so this is a sort of an example from the textbook but I've adapted it so it works better in terms of using Python so I'm using something called with open with open allows me to open um, two files at the same time the source file in this case and the destination file which have got if you have a look in my Python applications I've got a source file and a destination file now in the source file is information in source file a little bit of text and in the destination file it's completely empty okay so I want to copy information from one file to another so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open both the source file.txt in a read format and I'm going to open the destination file.txt in a write format R for read W for write okay then I'm going to create a variable called contents and I'm going to read from the source file yeah the information into the variable called contents I'm then going to write contents yeah what I've put in here in the variable into the destination file and I've just got a message at the bottom to say if, if everything works correctly that the information um, copied correctly using just a bit a basic print statement so here we go so I'm going to run this run module okay so information is copied correctly if I close that and I now open the destination file you can see the information has been copied in okay so that's how we can copy and paste um, from one file to another using Python okay that is it for this video so I hope you enjoyed it that's it for this series actually that's it for all of topic 8 that concludes with um, file handling so thank you very much indeed for watching and I will see you next time please continue to ask questions leave your comments hit notifications and please subscribe and finally if you wish to buy me a coffee I would be truly grateful please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone thank you very much indeed See you next time. Bye for now.